NPA and restructuring assets. The asset quality of banks is an important indicator of their financial health. It also reflects the efficacy of their credit risk management and recovery environment. Asset quality is measured as NPAs, that is non-performing assets, gross and net NPA. Gross NPA is when an asset, including a leased asset, becomes non-performing when it ceases to generate income for the bank. Fresh increase of NPAs during the year is known as slippages. To calculate net NPA, balance is interest suspense account plus deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation claims received and held pending adjustment plus part payment received and kept in suspense account plus total provisions held are subtracted from gross NPA. The NPA to advances ratio is used as a measure of overall quality of bank's loan book. Restructured assets. A restructured account is one where the bank grants the borrower concession that the bank would not otherwise consider. Restructuring would normally involve modification of terms of the advances or securities which would generally include among others alteration of repayment period, repayable amount, the amount of installment and rate of interest. It is a mechanism to nurture an otherwise viable unit which has been adversely impacted and back to health. Table 1 and 2 shows that since 2009, banks' gross advances showed growth of CAGR 17.15%. Gross advances has increased from Rs 27,533 billion in 2009 to Rs 51,872 billion in 2013. The asset quality of the banking system deteriorated significantly during the period and there was an increase in the total stressed assets in the banking system. Total stressed asset is NPAs plus restructured assets. Growth in restructured standard advances is a concern. It has increased at a CAGR of 41.37 percent since 2009. In March 2013, total restructured standard advances was noted at Rs. 3008 billion. Restructured standard advances to gross advances ratio has steadily increased from 2.73% 2 2 in 2009 to 5.80% in 2013. Surface Act is most important channel for NPA recovery. Under the Surface that is, securitization and reconstruction of financial asset and Enforcement of Security Interest Act 2002, banks and financial institution auction properties when borrowers cannot repay given loans, but it is applicable for residential and commercial properties only. For efficient recovery of loans, banks need to not only follow the various measures put in place by Reserve Bank and Government of India effectively for resolution and recovery of bad loans but also strengthen their due diligence credit appraisal post sanction loan monitoring system to minimize and mitigate the problems of increasing NPAs.